Hello YouTube, this is Wolfdine. We're going to finish out uh, Season 700 or Mission 2 or or Episode whatever. This is Part 2 of Mission 8. That's what it is. Um, so I kind of skipped ahead of maybe two or three minutes just to get um, my, my group I got. I think I could probably do it with just these. Um, oh, good lord. So, where's the duke? Alright. Okay, I'll take care of that. It's out my face. Okay, so what our strategy is here, and I was telling you about it earlier in the last mission, is, is leapfrogging. So, take these three. These will provide a, a defensive barrier, so if anything shows up, we'll just literally blast it away. And then we can just keep moving up slowly but surely. Um, the Marines are here just as like a more mobile-like response. And sort of bait too. Um, but we usually like to keep them right in the center. You gotta be really careful with this because if you. There's a, a minimum range. Like. If an enemy were to get this close to one of these siege tanks, they wouldn't be able to attack it. Nope. Nope. Where's the Duke? Crap. Look, how how would they get behind here? Why? I can understand a human player doing that, but what AI algorithm would lead the computer to be like, oh, let's just send one unit behind um, to attack that? Okay. Um, what I was saying is you want to be careful with this method because... If a if an enemy gets within this range of this tank right here, he won't be able to attack it. But these ones can. And the problem with the siege tanks is they do splash damage. So if an enemy literally dropped into right here, I swear to the Lord above, if I hear that again, the base is under attack. <laughs> One enemy. But as you can see, I don't really have a whole lot, and these siege tanks are just chewing through this stuff. Um, and that's the other thing uh, they use the Marines for, is the siege tanks are very weak against the air, so if they just sent a bunch of air units, um, there's nothing they can do. I think they've uh, spent most of their forces just they spent most of their forces just like uh, staggering them into me like one at a time so that was probably the worst thing they could have done um, so we cleaned up pretty good there um. Right. Let's just randomly put some of these out. Oh, and I'll build one of those. Um, and we'll build a new too. Why not? Um, to get to try that out. I've never done a nuke so. Now, like, uh, as you can see, like, I'm running out of, uh, uh, minerals here, and I bet the Vespines are, nope, still, still there, but. Okay, let's, I, I don't think there's any, like, 
hardcore defenses uh, that my Marines won't be able to take care of. Uh, but I definitely want, don't want to leave my siege tanks because they're kind of a, an investment. Um, so what we're going to do is move down this way and take out the star, star port. Is this star port? Uh, yes. Okay, we need movement to do more, some more damage. They all can attack it. Uh, okay, yeah, we got a nuclear missile. I've never done it, but watch it like win the game. I know they don't do that much, but... But I know it will take out a huge chunk of things. Okay. Okay. Now, you can only have one missile in one silo, so to get more you would have to build more command centers with more silos, which once again is super huge investment for nothing. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just this. I don't want to waste it on supply depots so many geez. So what we're gonna do is just have him look around for a big old base. And not wasted on that. Okay now we gotta hurry because his uh his uh energy is now, see, this is something that I've never shown you before. Oh! What are you doing? Um, so these units right here can't be seen by the just regular troops or these or anything really right here. So... Ah! Oh. oh, yeah, see, I think that was a missile tower right there. I think that's where we, where we screwed up. Okay. Okay, we need an SCV in here. Stat. But I'm wanting to nuke somebody. Um. Yeah. There. Crank out all this crap. So we got a science vessel here. Um, and I want to look at that here in a minute. Because I don't... Uh, like, science vessel is one of the least used things in, in my playthroughs. And uh, I don't even know what they do. I mean, and I know they have three, like... Uh, utility abilities. Um, but that's about... I know that's like... Defense Matrix and then the Radiate and something else and something else. They, they don't do any direct damage, so I don't usually use them. Sorry about that. Someone was at the door. Uh, what are you doing? Um, so we're going to try to nuke the heck out of this place. Hopefully... I don't waste this ghost. I need to stay away from that thing. I mean, he died pretty quick, which is... What the crap? Alright, we'll just... Go for broke here. Okay, so it shows a little dot here. And then we need to get him out as soon as possible. And if he dies before the nuclear launch is complete, I think it cancels. Okay, so we need to get him out of there because it's going to be a big explosion. So that was pretty good. So 
so I usually put him somewhere and hopefully he'll live. Got another base over here to take care of. He's still alive. I think this mission is just to destroy everything. Yeah, just eliminate the Confederate force. So just kill everything. Don't know what that guy's doing. Okay, done that. And now we just start. Upgrading everything here. Yes, sir. Man, I completely lost my train of thought after uh, the answer the door. Um, so we didn't go over the, the Terran Science vessel. So we might do that now. So where did he go? Where did he go? There he is. Okay. So he's a detector first off, so he can do that. He doesn't have a uh, a little bit of... I mean, he, he has could a bit of health and some energy. He's got Defense Matrix, which reduces damage by quite a bit. Um, just continue sieging this place. Uh, we'll go back to here. Um, so Defense Matrix does reduce damage, I think. EMP Shockwave, I think, eliminates shields. Like I said, I've never really played with the Defense Matrix, or the uh, Science Vessel. And then Irradiate uh, hurts biological units, so it would hurt some of the... It would hurt some of the Terran, but mostly Zerg. I think it would hurt every Zerg unit. Okay, is there room to get through the... Yeah, yeah, there's rings. I need these marines down here so I can give more vision. Okay, kite, 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 kite. There we go. I don't want my marines to take too much damage. I just want to... <sighs> <sighs> okay, I think we can unsiege all these babies and just bring them straight in. To uh, clean up all this junk. Oh, yep. Yeah, I knew he was gonna die. Need to siege up quick. Okay. So that that I think these were brown. And these are orange. Um, and we haven't even begun to start a new a new base, which is a plan that I had, but we probably don't need it. It's probably fine. Whatever, I'll just go over here and build a command center like right on top of it. We don't need no stinking defenses.
Um, I just thought of this, but one of the downsides of playing the the uh, Terran is you don't you don't have any static defenses. Like you can't build any, or your SCVs can't build a building that will defend itself. Uh, like the other. Uh, oh, he hello, battle cruisers. Hide him to where he can get everybody in range. I don't know if they can win. That's some insane. Okay, we got it, but we do need some more Marines. Okay, I think we're gonna take these over here to get some repairs group up my two groups of marines I'm thinking there are two people over here which is a shame no I really want to kill this stuff but but I don't know I think there's a starport over here because that battle cruiser came from here. That's what we're gonna have to take down. Our, oh, over here. Right, so we're good there. I think our siege tanks will be fine. Cleaning that up! And we'll clean this up. No, I said that! Run, little bat! Run, little tank, run! Don't let the battle cruiser hit you! It's like a shark or some crap. I don't have enough marines close enough to it. See, these, these battle cruisers can be a monster, but... Okay, so what we're gonna do here is build a barracks. Because we need more marines. Think there's anything over here? Come on, there's probably a guy up here. No, okay. That's gonna be a problem. I don't know exactly all if you have to destroy all the buildings or just the main ones. I don't know if these missile towers count, uh, but just to be thorough, I want to finish that off. There are Marines in that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> now, there should just be one more base over this way. Siege tank, and we'll be ready to finish this mission off. Now, I probably should get them doing something. Oh man, I didn't even notice the siege tank's uh, image. That's actually really nice looking.
just need to do some repairs, and we'll be ready to go. I think I want to take this route. Okay, you're ready. Last push. This is the big one. This is the big push. Prep your butts. Don't know exactly how many are left. Um, I really doubt there's going to be that many. I'm thinking that it's through here. What's it gonna be? More Zerg, maybe? There's probably gonna be. I think there's just a tiny little thing here. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just nothing. Well, that was a big push. Boom. We done it. So, this is where we start thinking, eh, this guy's not great. Tarsonis has got civilians and crap on it. He's wanting to track Zerg to the entire planet. So, that'll be... Oh, we got a cutscene. What is this? Is it Tarsonis? No, it can't be. Okay. So this is not good for Tarsonis. Billions of Zerg. That guy's not having a good day. Ready to use the siege tanks effectively. And there's a little taste of the next mission. Again, thank you for watching. Check out videos and that'll be this episode.